Testing, testing, one, two, three, two, 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 two. All right, guys, is it recording? Yes, it is. Okay, let's do this little trick. Let's do this little trick. Is it too late to do it? Hide. Hide all drawing. All right, so here I have, guys, the gold divided by the SPX ratio. And here I'll zoom in on the daily. You all know by now I've been saying that silver, the miners, platinum, uranium, all that stuff is going to have this, the huge tailwind once gold breaks out versus the... Oh. Okay, as soon as I put on, once gold breaks out versus the SPX. So what I did is I always try and look at clues. Here's my previous chart I did where I had identified a range where... I'll put it back on the monthly because I believe this was originally done on the monthly chart. Reset chart. Okay, here it is. So here it is, guys. I did this chart. So resistance, wicks, wicks, sellers coming in. Now break out above. So that resistance becomes support. Here, this this 2007 to all to top of 2000, beginning of 2008, man, silver rocketed, everything rocketed. And after that, the bear, the GFC crisis. But look, gold versus SPX did not go that low, guys. It was just a pull flag, right? Pull, flag, pull. It was beautiful. Gold outpacing the SPX. All right, here, here's the top. Gold is burning out versus the SPX in 2011. August 11, can't do a new high. Here you have all the the That's called the early breakout line. Right here, touch, 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 uh, and falls. Here's a sleep mode line. A more acute angled line breaks down, less and less slanted, more and more valid. Waterfall, reverse symmetry move back to the neckline. If that breaks down, reverse symmetry move back to this previous level. Then after that, if it closed below, reverse symmetry move here on the way down to this one. But this is starting to be important. Support, turn resistance, guys. Support resistance, turn support. Sorry, dyslexia. So it takes more time to get out of there. Tries to go back up. And once that fails, then you're going, you drop much lower to the next. I'm going to click and drag that one. Oh, click and drag that one. And you see where it landed. Previous, what I call walls, resistance, turn support. Now I hit that. Perfect pivot line. Important to, because guys with trend lines, it's not just about being tested on one side, if it's tested multiple times from either side, it it's also has value. Then we have the balance as a 2018 Powell pivot. Goes up. That's a huge move for gold as it started outperforming the SPX all the way up here. And that was its peak in uh, after March Madness in May, June of 2020, August of 2020. That's when it, it peaked out refusing to do a new high versus SPX. And that's when SPX started having its run, outperforming gold later in uh, 2020, all the way to this bottom right here in uh, late Q4 2021. So each of these moves, this was a 2015, late 2015 to 2016 move where gold, silver went crazy. So this is what I call the blast off zone. This zone here, when you bounce off it, Really huge performance for gold. The silver, silver, especially the miners, the juniors, going to go ballistic. So this thing went down here, and I'm wondering, I always look for analogs. And here's a move where once it went down, and we had the wake-up line right here, closed above, retest. Is this what's happening right now, guys, where we had a breakout? Not quite sure where, where it is, but we broke out. And often there's a consolidation or retest of that breakout line, often creating a higher low, stopping at previous support or previous resistance and support. Not quite sure where it is. Could be this, this swing low here. Often it's a zone, right? See, it goes all the way back here. So I could have even done this. So this zone here, you could expect this candle right here, monthly candle to come and stop here at one moment. So I'll zoom in. This is what I started with, guys. I'll go back on the daily. Right-click, reset chart. 
So right here we have gold outperforming this PX. Going nuts. That line was drawn on the monthly. I'll remove it. Going up. Crashing down, now creating a swing low. So right now, low, low, low. So now we have valid trend line here, and it broke two days ago. As close as gold uh, as gold versus SPX got to breaking out that takeoff line where I have my little uh, spaceships, it never did it yet. So now that thing is going down, and it's probably going to head off to... Uh, what are the, uh, these are doubles. No, that's not takeoff line. Boop. Boop. And then come down and hit this support right here. This is my next wake up line, guys. As soon as this line closes above, then, and especially if it bounces off anywhere in the zone right here, then we know that we have a potential move going up. And I want to take here, this is a good tool in the trading view. It's the, the fractal tool, the bars pattern. You click and drag for, for a section where you think it resembles. You click and drag and you can move it. I had it right here. So here, and then you could see, it gives you an idea of human behavior, highs, lows, where you're susceptible of having a pullback. So this was the Q18 bottom. You see, after it fell to break up above this dot uh, 51 line, it went back down to retest. And this is probably what's happening right here. So I could try to stretch it or make it tighter. Oh, maybe this one here. Something like that. I, we're not quite sure yet what the amplitude will be of this move up, come and retest. Can I squish that? Something like that, maybe. There you go. I'll zoom in here. Up. Oh, it's tracking pretty nice high and down low. Maybe something like that. Bounce on support, went up. Can't break out, comes back down, retest. So all this zone here, I'm waiting, I'm watching for gold to retest to see versus SPX. If it could halt, it's the same versus SPX. And then eventually a strong move up, bring it up, up above the takeoff line, and then hopefully continue upwards and uh, generate uh, those gains and have a paradigm shift. So right now it's all a question of timing. One, two, three months. See where that lands. But right now we, we were halted at the takeoff line and we need to see how this resets to give it, to see where we sink in a new higher low and if that thing could give another go to try to break out guys. And that's all I had to say about that. Thanks guys. Thanks for watching.